Hello and welcome back. A lot of us have come to rely on using Google Maps, perhaps in our phone or mobile device, in order to navigate around the area to get from one location to another. And what we're going to look at today um, is when you've enabled your location services in order to do that, we're going to look at what information Google actually collects and how you can review and manage that information. So to start with, um, when I travel, I tend to enable my location services so it can help me get around areas that I might not be familiar with. Now in order to view the data that Google has collected on those activities, I'm going to log in to the same Gmail account that I would have been logged into on my mobile device. So I've done that. I'm going to go to the hamburger, the menu, and I'm going to come down and click on your timeline. Now it'll take a second to load, but what it's going to do is it's going to show all the different times that Google collected um, information on my location. Now you can see that that's largely in the eastern United States, and you can see that's when I've been overseas um, traveling. A lot of the a lot of the time when I'm local, I shut location services off because personally I prefer that you know not all that information be shared when it's not necessary. Okay, you can see from this map, um, let's start here, that I was in Louisiana at one point, so I'm going to double click on that. And it's going to bring me to that particular point in time, see June 10th, 2018. And that's uh, Sunday, June 10th, and you can see that I evidently took a flight at that time leaving from Newark uh, Liberty International Airport, arriving in New Orleans, and actually departing from the Hotel St. Marie. So you can even tell from here where I was staying. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the Louisiana portion of this. And as you get in closer, you can see my travels for the day. You can actually... Uh, you can actually actually see where I traveled on that particular day. Um, this is marked as driving, but it was not, so there's a misinterpretation there. This was actually walking. Uh, we crossed the river, etc. So you can, you can see pretty much what I did during that day, and then later on in the day, as I took a trip to the airport, and then from the airport the flight home. If I were to find the 10th here and go back to the 9th, Saturday the 9th, Okay, again, it's showing me my travels in and around uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, if there was any information, okay, there's the 8th, Friday the 8th, so that's the day I flew down there. And um, you can see the details of that information down here. Here, I'm not, I'm not going to do this, but it would ask me to confirm that this was the location that I was at. Let's take a look at another another section of time. So I will just go back to my general timeline. And over the summer, we took a driving trip. I'm going to double click on that, and it'll bring me right into August 12th, 2018. You can see that I drove from Saginaw, Michigan, down through Kalamazoo, and over to Chicago. Note that these are straight lines. We obviously didn't drive through the lake. We didn't take a we didn't take a ferry across. So it's not giving you the exact path here, but it is showing you the major locations. When I zoom in on the Chicago location, okay, it is showing you both driving and walking within the city. Now this is not all completely accurate. I don't believe. I believe some of this, some of this may have been walking as well, but um, but it's collecting all that information. So here, even when I'm not in the car, when I have that cell phone in my pocket, it's collecting information on on what I'm doing. So there's the 12th. There's the 11th. This is the day where the car was parked. This is all walking. This is this is what we did. We went down to the Navy Pier in Chicago. We went up and we ate at the Grand Lux Cafe. Um, we stayed in the Virgin Hotel in Chicago. 
So a lot of information collected here. Now if I if I don't want this information, I can trash it. I can hit the trash can here, but this is something that I have to go in and actively manage if my location services is turned on. So Google is transparent about what they're doing, and I can delete this information, then I have to trust that it will be completely deleted from all records. Now it'll have to be a matter of, you know, that'll be a have to be a matter of trust. If I hit delete, it says it's going to be permanently deleted and, and not recoverable. But, you know, along the bottom, I can go from day to day, see what you're doing at the, those different points. So just an interesting, uh, interesting view into the information that is being collected on you when you have those location services turned on.